Next news is out of the Vatican. Vatican rejects trans people, says they annihilate the concept of nature. During Pride Month, the Vatican has issued a statement rejecting trans people, saying they annihilate the concept of nature. Uh, quote, unquote, male and female, he created them, was released by the Vatican on the 10th of June without prior announcement. It is described as an, quote, unquote, aid for Catholic school teachers and parents. The document is also signed by Italian's Cardinal Giuseppe Versaldi and Archbishop Angelo Zani. Pope Francis has not signed the document. The 31-page document also says gender theory forces people to move away from nature. Oh god, where do we start with this one? First, I mean, it's so. I mean, it, it's such an obvious response to this. Like, right. I'm just gonna take it because it's such an obvious. You know what annihilates the concept of nature? The Catholic fucking Church. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> right. I mean, yes. I mean, this. I know it's such an easy shot, but uh, we have to take it because obviously, right? Obviously, like you know what's obviously. not. Uh, first of all. You know, there's so okay. I I have so many responses. I don't know where to start. First of all, even if it was against nature, you're making a natural it looks like fallacy. Not everything natural is good. Um, second of all, um, trans people, it's not a new thing. They have been with us throughout history. Uh, even if they're a small percentage, it's completely natural. Uh, it's not. It's not. It has nothing to do with social, you know, concept. But they've they've been around. They have been written about, talked about. Rec there's records of them throughout history. It's completely natural, right? It's completely natural. But even if it was natural, even if it wasn't natural, who fucking cares? We are. We 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 are. We're talking on 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 cameras to, and to people and around the fucking planet right now. That's not natural. And but it's a great thing. Okay. We, we fly on uh, giant tubes from one country into, uh, to another country while watching movies. That's not natural, but it's fucking amazing, okay? But it is completely natural. Uh, what is not natural but, and as at the same time harmful is the Catholic Church. It's not natural for such a higher percentage of men to be attracted to children. You know, like, it's not that it's not natural. It must have been something to do with the Catholic doctrine uh, or the concept of celibacy, which is, again, not natural, that ha that produces such horrific results, right? So right. that's extremely unnatural. You're unnatural, okay? But <laughs> here's the thing. I'm not, I'm not going to... So this letter was signed by how many people? 31 people, you said? Oh, mm -hmm. no. No, no, you said 31 pages. I don't know how many people. But 31 pages... Yeah, the Pope hasn't signed it yet, but here's the deal is the Pope uh, the Pope has issued statements that go kind of along with this, but then he's issued other statements that completely contradict it, like telling people, who am I to judge when it came to uh. a, a gay priest um, that that came out as gay? He said, who am I to judge? So he, he contradicts himself constantly. No, okay, so first of all, that's such a coward way of answering these things because they judge all the time but that's what they're doing here yeah they judge all the fucking time but the, the pope is a coward that doesn't want it that he knows that he's popular among some liberals and he doesn't want it because if you, if you weren't a coward you would come out and say something against this fucking letter instead of not just signing it okay you would be like no this is a bullshit letter i'm not gonna endorse it okay that's what you would do if you weren't a coward Pope Francis, but you are a coward, okay? You are a coward, mm -hmm. and the thing is that the Pope hasn't said anything, like a lot of the things that this Pope says that a lot of atheists clap for, it's nothing that the that was that it was a contradiction to the position of the church before, okay? Uh, he hasn't said anything new, right? And he hasn't taken any strong position against the conservative or, you know, backward positions that the church has. Right. And the, he just highlights some other things that the church already had this position on. But now he's just highlighting them. But he still he still lists his organization. He just like a you know, cute, cuddly thing to look at while his organization still does all the shitty, uh, horrible things that it always done and take stances that it always has, but it just distracts people are like, hey, look, I might say some stuff that atheists could like or other liberal people could like just so that I could distra distract you from. If you were, if you had any control, if you, if you had, you know, any courage to actually make a difference, you wouldn't, you would be taking a stand against this 
letter and you were like no I'm not I'm not gonna let you you aren't you the boss man like can't you just stop people from writing such a f letter the people that signed this letter are, are they like higher ups on the church or something like that like who are they how absolutely so these are the people who are actually responsible for overseeing education within the Catholic Church okay so the Catholic Church is supposed to be a little bit more scientific than you know, some of these Protestant groups, right? Because they like, hey, Big Bang is real, you know, tr scientifically proven. Um, and I don't know, evolution is real and stuff like that. But, you know, this, this, so they should get more pushback for this because now anytime somebody points out to like, oh, the Catholic churches accept science, they're like, no, no, they don't. Look at this. So, right. Fuck that. Uh, let's see what the... By the way, uh, we got a super chat from Chris. Thank you, Chris, for the $2 super chat. He's saying Atheist Republic plus Satanic Temple. Think about it. Ooh, okay. Let's reach <laughs> Thanks, out to them. Chris. Sopam is saying... I. Oh, Sopam is uh, trans, by the way. So Sopam is saying, I annihilate the concept of nature itself. That's my superpower, damn it. I am as powerful as God, if not more. Yeah, actually, that's <laughs> that's very impressive. If trans people can annihilate the concept of... the con Not just... Wow, you actually, Sopam is right, because they're not saying it's on... They're not, they're, they're, look, at, look at their phrasing. They're not saying it's unnatural. They annihilate the concept of nature. <laughs> the very fabric of the universe is going to collapse on itself because of the tra because of trans people. They are like, wow, they're like, uh, okay. That's very powerful. <laughs> I'm very impressed with trans people because, yeah, you're right. You're more powerful than God if you could do that. JV is saying, do you think the Catholic ch Church is trying to cash in on the trans hate to stay relevant? I don't know, JV. It might be that. It might also be some uh, people in the Catholic Church trying to defy this uh, narrative that uh the catholic church is becoming more modern they're like no fuck that shit look we could sign this letter and the pope can't do shit about it like something like that i don't know there might be some internal politics going around uh somebody with more information let us know so i'm saying considering it may consider that considering it as my superpower since catholics uh consider god as a natural as natural as well shouldn't i be able to annihilate god as well good point so but here's another thing this means trans people are more powerful than gay people because gay people can only cause, uh, you know, storms and earthquake. That's pretty impressive, but it's not <laughs> as impressive as annihilating the concept of nature. Like that is that is badass trans people. I'm that's amazing. Musk is saying, wouldn't Jesus God say all life is sacred? I don't think. Jesus ever said that and did, has it that did they ever said that I don't think so um, in the Bible uh, let me see what the top comment is Laura saying ironic considering nature annihilates the concept of religion <laughs> uh, Brendan is saying doesn't denying natural actually I don't know if uh, that's funny Laura but religion can be explained by nature because it's it's a meme that is taking advantage of our genes anyways i'm not going to go into that discussion brendan is saying doesn't denying natural selection and evolution annihilate the concept of nature yeah brendan but but the catholic church doesn't deny evolution so doesn't apply here the john is saying but talking snakes virgin births flying angels pillars of salt etc are all natural okay that's fair that one was fair except the talking snake oh no no never mind that's all fair that's um i i thought yeah okay philip is saying nature isn't a concept religion is oh that's a good point philip a, a flawed and failing one at that oh good good point james is saying obviously the vatican doesn't understand the concept of nature good 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 comments. Atheists are under attack in many places. If they were Christians, their voices would be heard. If they were Jews, their voices would be heard. If they were Muslims, their voices would be heard. But they are atheists, and not many seem to be listening. Let's make it difficult for them to ignore us. We have built a global community, and now we are tearing down geographic, cultural, and language barriers so we can find each other and support each other. 
In the last decade, we have built the largest atheist community in the world. Now we are doing the same in other languages. With your help, we have started Atheist Republic in Persian and Arabic. انضميت مؤخرا لأسرة Atheist Republic وحيصير عندي بودكاست باللغة العربية. As we grow, we can dedicate more time, staff, and resources to start doing the same in Spanish, Portuguese, Malay, Bengali, Urdu, Hindi, and other languages. We are providing community, support, informative content, and amplifying the voices of those who need protection, especially in countries where people feel isolated simply for their lack of belief. We want to be there for them, and we are only getting started. Help us get there. Check in the description for ways you can support our projects.